What's up everyone, and in today's video I'll be showing you how I made three custom Spider-Man themed skateboards. And the whole idea for me wanting to do these paintings all came from these spray cans right here. And they are the Montana Marble Effect spray cans. And if you've seen my FMA spray painting video, then you know how these look. But before I could use these cans on the skateboards, I have to prep the boards a little bit. And lucky for me, I already had two that are already gessoed and pre-painted white. But I did have to add another quick layer of white spray paint onto it, just to freshen it up a little bit. And then once it dried, gave it a quick sand with 800 grit sandpaper, wiped it clean, and now we're able to spray on the marble effect. So one board will get an all black marble effect and the other will get an all red marble effect. And here are the results. I remember the first time I used it and I immediately thought of symbiotes. And when I thought of symbiotes, I obviously had to paint Venom and Carnage. And as for the red marbling on the Carnage board, yeah, don't get too attached to this one. And as for the Spider-Man skateboard, I already had one already painted blue, so I figured why not just use a blue one? And by leaving it blue, that means I could use the third marble effect I have, which is the white one as the background. Oh, and at this point I just realized I never said what the plans for the skateboards were, just that they were Spider-Man themed skateboards. So the plans for these three skateboards are, obviously like I said before, one's gonna be Venom, one Carnage, and then one Spider-Man. So for the Spider-Man one, I kind of planned it at the very beginning, I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, so I didn't film it that much, honestly, I was kind of winging it while doing it, while the main focus of this video was supposed to be Carnage and Venom. But overall, I did know I wanted Spider-Man to kind of just be like a portrait style to be looking forward straight at you. While I wanted Venom and Carnage to be both looking at each other. Or looking away, depending on how you wanted to frame it. But the overall vibe I was going for was Spider-Man in the middle and then Venom and Carnage both looking at him. But wait! There's more! So aside from the skateboards, I also figured, why not do them on a canvas as well? So what I mean by that is, in reality, I did a Venom skateboard, a Venom canvas, a Carnage skateboard, a Carnage canvas, Spider-Man skateboard, a Spider-Man canvas, and I even did a Venom and Carnage on one canvas. Yes, I know it sounds like a lot, but if you do follow me on IG, then you know I did six out of the seven of those paintings. And for the one I didn't do, it was the Venom and Carnage. That one, it's not done yet. I actually just plan on doing that one a little later down the line. But yeah, the main reason I wanted to do the canvas versions as well is because I wanted to do some type of practice before I did the skateboards, you know what I mean? Because my main medium is still spray paint, obviously, but I do, I am and still am trying to incorporate more acrylics into my work. And for these, the Venom, Carnage, Spider-Man, all of those are going to be heavily acrylics. So the only spray paint on those is going to be the background. So I figured do a canvas version just to get some really good practice in on it. But as you can see from the canvas, I didn't want to do it a white background as well. So for the Venom and Carnage canvas ones, I wanted to do it kind of like a diptych painting in a way. So I had the idea of, let's see, Carnage is red, Venom's black. So I figured do a black background for Carnage and then do a red background for Venom. And obviously with the marble effect, black marble effect with Venom and then the red marble effect for Carnage.
And I'll explain this later in the video, but I'm really glad I started off with the canvas versions because doing these canvas paintings did teach me a lot on how to paint these in a way that I like. And as for the Spider-Man canvas, I did it a little bit bigger and this one I just wanted to make it super simple because the main thing I wanted to practice was obviously Spider-Man, the Spider-Man portrait. So I just did a canvas, painted it blue, and then did the white marble effect in the background. And now that the marble effect spray paint has dried and cured for about 24 hours, it is now time to put on a coat of matte medium. And the reasoning for me putting on a coat of matte medium is not only to seal in the marble effect spray paint even more, but mainly to ensure that my acrylic paints go onto the board with ease. Because there's a little trick for you. If you want to put acrylic paint onto spray paint, I recommend putting on a coat of matte medium. Trust me, it works. But if you want to see even more proof, here's an old bleach hollow mask that I repainted white. Put on a coat of matte medium, and here's the same red paint I'll be using for the boards. Perfect. And now that the coat of matte medium is dried, it is time to see where I want the paintings to be put exactly onto the skateboards. So to help me with that, I'm going to use these quick stencils that I made to help me just put out the general shape of what I want the painting to be onto there. So if you look at Carnage, as you can see, there's like no teeth on the top. And for Spider-Man, it's just the silhouette of him and his eyes because I, I need to know where I want him centered onto the board. And also when it comes to doing teeth for Carnage and Venom, the best advice I heard about making any painting or drawing of them is that they're monsters. So they don't have to be perfect in any, or uniform in any way. So in reality, you have your own liberty to do the teeth however you like. Because like Todd McFarlane said, they're monsters. They don't go to the dentist. I hate perfect teeth on monsters. They don't go to dentists. And yes, for anyone wondering, I am using a regular ballpoint pen to do the tracing. But just know that obviously the trace marks will be covered with acrylic paint. So nothing to worry about there. And also if you are going to do this, the same as me, just know that make sure to cover the pen with acrylic paint because if not, and you're using a brush on varnish, that it will smear. But if you use a spray on varnish, then you'll be fine. Oh, also same applies for paint pens. If you're doing a brush on varnish, it will smear it, even if you let it dry. But now that they're all on there, it's time to put on the first layer of paint. And for the Spider-Man one, I'm just going to do a pretty simple gray. That way the reds and blues will stand out more because... As I did on the canvas one, it took a lot of layers of red to actually get it a good color of red. So I'm just going to do a base coat of gray on the skateboard. So I'm glad I did the canvas version before that one. And for the Venom board, unlike the canvas one where I did kind of like a gray and black tone, I think just for the skateboard, I'm going to do all black. And as for Carnage, this one, after doing the canvas one, this one's going to have the most layers of paint. Because the style that I figured out that I want to do Carnage in is going to be a lot of mixtures between black and red. But the base coat I'm still going to make all red. And you know what? Since I started the Carnage one first by doing the canvas version, keep in mind since the background was black, it was hard to make sure Carnage stood out a bit more because I went back and looked at some references. And you know what? Carnage's face is fully one tone, which is also black. So I needed to find a good medium of how am I going to make it stand out. And not only that, I also planned on giving him regular monster teeth just like Venom's. But then I'm looking at it and I'm just, I kind of figured I kind of don't want to do that either. And looking back at references again, he doesn't really have regular monster teeth. So I figured I'd just make the teeth also a part of the symbiote as well. And luckily for me, I did figure out a way to do Carnage the way that I like and in, kind of in my style. But before that, let me go back to the Spider-Man skateboard. And like I kind of mentioned earlier in the video, all I had planned was a front profile looking straight at you. And then also I wanted a Spider-Man logo symbol on top of him. So I got both of those out. And then when doing those, I didn't want the whole body just be extending past down the board. So what I did off camera was did that dip of the skateboard. I got spray paint, the same blue spray paint, spray painted that and then put the same Spider-Man logo at the bottom of that. You know what, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but then once I posted it to IG, showed it to my friend, and they all seemed to love that one the most. So you know what, I guess it worked out, but you'll see the end product 
towards the end of the video. But now to the Venom skateboard. And yeah, like I mentioned, this one, I'm just gonna do all black rather than a mixture of gray and black. So this one actually wasn't hard at all. If anything, the hardest thing for the Venom board were the teeth. Only because there's just so many teeth and I have to go in there with a fine brush and make sure they were all painted white or at least some kind of white because again, they don't go to the dentist so I didn't make it pure white. Even though on film they do look very white. Oh, and another thing for these is the tongues. So with those, it's just a bunch of mixtures of reds, dark reds, pinks. And yeah, again, they're monster tongues. So I kind of just did any pattern and made it look a little nasty and raunchy as much as possible. Because overall, they're still comic book characters. So I did want to still be comic book style-ish, you know, because I'm not really hyper realistic with my work. So, and also I don't think I've mentioned this before, but these three skateboards are for my friend. So like I told him, I considered was one a Christmas gift, one a birthday gift, and then the other one I just threw in as a housewarming gift. And since these are gifts for him, and then I showed him the prototypes with the canvas ones because I did those first, basically saying, what do you think of these? And then the only suggestion he had was for Venom that I make saliva, but make it green. So he wanted specifically green saliva. And you know, for the red canvas one, once he said that, I was like, oh yeah, that's perfect. Because red and green, they just go, those colors just go together so well. But as for the white board, I was a little iffy about that. So I asked him if he still wanted it. And he said, yep. So I did it. And now back to the Carnage skateboard. And like I said, this one was the longest to do only because it took so many layers to get it to look a certain way that I like. But luckily for me, I was already pretty practiced in doing Carnage after doing that one painting. And for the initial design for Carnage, what I came up with was that how do I want Carnage to look? Because I still wanted to make it look like the originals a little bit in a way, but make it more my style. So what it came down to was what if I made it almost look a little zombie-esque mixed with Naruto's what I believe is called Jin Churiki Stage 2 form. Those were the two main things I had in mind, just put it together in the form of Carnage. And another thing different from this one and the canvas version is the canvas version, trying to make it stand out more, I had to put out that red outline all along Carnage just to help it stand out more. But with this one, when I tried to do a red outline only, it kind of didn't work only because it blended in a little bit more. So what I came down to was I still did the red outline, but then did a black outline above that one. So pretty much a black outline. Oh, and also for the Venom board, I actually decided on doing a gray outline rather than a black one. Because on the Venom canvas one, I did an all white outline. And do you remember when I said earlier in the video, don't get too attached to the background of this Carnage board? Yeah, well, that's because I tried spraying just a little more marble effect onto it and ended up putting way more than planned. Yeah, you see, I'm just going to blur it out because it kind of pains me to look at it. But even though I messed up on that, it's an easy fix. So all I got to do is cover up the entire painting with yellow painter's tape and then cut out all the excess tape around the entire painting. That way I could repaint the entire board white without having to cover my painting that I already did. And I didn't film myself respray painting it white, but here's me spraying on the red marble effect again. And again, if you didn't believe me about the yellow painter's tape keeping the entire painting itself from being painted over again, check this out. And it looks like I missed a little spot right here, but just put a little black acrylic on that and it's like it never happened. But what I do have to do is go over and redo the black outline. And once that is done, it is now time to put a satin varnish onto all of the paintings. And once they're all dried, it's time to show the final results. So first I'll be showing you all the canvas, my least favorite to most favorite, and then the skateboards, my least favorite to most favorite. So without further ado, here are the end results.
And there you have it. Those are the three Spider-Man themed skateboards and canvases that I did. And real quick before I end this video, I just wanted to say that I do have one more skateboard left that I need to paint. And for that one, I plan on doing it or making it a Pokemon themed one. And you know, the inspiration for that came from the Santa Cruz Pokemon boards that came out. I didn't get one, so I figured why not just paint myself one. But the problem with that is there are so many Pokemon and I don't know which one to paint on the board. So if there's a specific Pokemon you want to see painted onto the board, let me know down in the comments as well. And also preferably, I wanted to be a Pokemon that wasn't a part of the Santa Cruz line as well. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you wanted to hit the subscribe button, it would mean a lot. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. And as for this Venom and Carnage painting, I don't know, I kind of want to do this one very soon. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to actually make a video of me making this painting. And also for this one, I was thinking of doing the Carnage, how I did them for the skateboard and the canvas. But for Venom, I was thinking of changing it up a bit, kind of doing it like Carnage, but doing it with black and blue. And I'll think about it a little more. But if you do want to see a video on this, let me know in the comments down below.